only now that you know I can read it. Lack of definition. But uh, can't we have, say, 16, 18 uh, monitors, uh, or even less, perhaps, if that's unfortunately costly? But um, like in a studio, I guess. The print, dear boy, the is, print. Uh, sorry, the point, dear boy, sorry, <laughs> is simply getting this uh, edition into press, and by tomorrow, sorry, <laughs> Vector out is too much dollars, 20k, well, I could borrow all the gear, no use. The other board is these, an excuse, or no, I hope not. For dashing devil, me, the dopey guy with all that smashing hope of minimizing what, you know, a kind of a monkey mixing room in any TV studio. I know it's very perilous to try, but no, it's 20k at least. It uh, could, of course, be do or die, and uh, obviously precious. I presented, and I prescribed a wrong. You'd think the text. No, wait a second. Yeah. No, you'd think the text can be very similar. Sorry. Do you want to rehearse the whole thing? Well, of course I have to rehearse any of it. Uh, I mean, no, it goes to six pages, though. The whole thing is a recitative, and it goes to six pages. It is a recitative, and it goes to six pages. Yeah. No, it's not a poem, dear. It's a piece of recitative out of an odd end to the word processing in a cybernetic opera, which she apparently often asked for. Or dreamed of, uh, which I have doubts about its production, but on the other hand, um, I try to please the guy by writing it. It's uh, page five total, actually, it's page page six with breaks. Yes, this is the modern whiz kid. Gee, it's got a TV screen, just like a real TV, a television set, like Mr. Baird in the head. Is it flying spot sparrows? Can no. And it's got a cathode ray tube. Hey! Wow. Really great. Yeah, wonderful. And how it prints out 40 lines of 40 characters apiece, like in a play with actors. Now, um, an actor is a name for bits of code. How haven't got his element? J.P. Sartre has. Uh, photographed on moving film using one of those balactophones, apologize, a flapper, sorry, of a floppy disk. <coughs> Why, yes, I'm, um, unfortunately, yes, I am able to accommodate a flapper disk and oil upon the flapper bracket of my motor bicyclette. Uh, here, I see every key upon that um, light carried type. Each one alpha or numeric as you choose. The some are able to get eighty on a line of characters. Just dowdy. Oh mighty fine. And absolutely dandy too. They're not as good as TypeScript. No, no, that's true. But but too much uh, to expect, of course. And if you try they're in um decipherable. Why? They can't be seen. Why ask too much? Oh, wait. For such, for such a portable machine that stands upon one table. Mm. Hi. Can I really press those keys? Move on to this high technologies. What's in the. Uh, oh. Chip is bust. It's just a minimal defect to be expected in this paradigm uh, comp sci. Oh, see, if every S looks like a T, ah, it's just my miserable fault to blame. Guess you get used to it, and every letter looks the same. Um, I do need them, frankly, because I'd like to read them. Names is most important, though. Ah, yes, yes, yes. But names, you see. Yes, yes, I did not realize, I must confess, that opening inverted commas F is not what you might guess. Um, close inverted commas. 
Thank you. Um, you must immediately press together with control and as of ever next. Just delta B times comma 25 comma return. A bit arcane. I did not mean to be offensive to this grand automaton, and I'm sure you will learn. Like seems you bloody have to, this aside. <laughs> it's uh, difficult to tolerate, abide the utterly complete insanity of those who use the best technology to make us hate their peaky pokey ideology. Mm. I agree. But what's that uh, badly dotted line between the text? Divided screen. Oh, sure we did. Only neither you nor I can read. Lack of definition, yes, but can't we have, say, 16, 18 monitors or even less? Like in a studio, I guess. The point the boy is simply getting this addition into present by tomorrow. Sorry. Vector out is too much at dollars. 20k, well, I could borrow all the gear. Hmm. Have you? The other board is needed. An excuse or not, I hope. <laughs> uh, dashing devil me, the dopey guy, with all that smashing hope of minimizing what you know a kind of monkey mixing room in an ATV studio. I uh, you know it's very perilous to try, but no, it's 20k at least. It could be past part two peril. I present it wrong. You think the text can't disappear apart. It can't, it does, oh dear. I call me the lady, even though I might be. A Luddite, gone. You play, God. And you plug the printer in. Not I, not me. Think that was no sin, I do. You're in the trouble with the devil. That chunk's gone. Input and out. Think, man, if you can, so do print. But it don't print. Won't print all out. Darned for no reason. In for a dig, as a scene. <laughs> Dotted lines and potty. Bloody contraption. Up to date adaption. Loss. To humanity, sharp of this in entity. Plug her in, in principle, but it doesn't print out. No, I don't doubt the literature of this patent program fresh. <laughs> <coughs> Monsieur, but had about a quart of thwarting. Idiotic. Sting, strings of, sorry, strings of signs. And I'm, in all honesty, bound to state in, even though I hate it, micro pico rated Gillum dated super duper. Overstated, dissipated. Well, I'm dashed, you not me. Smash it to smithereens. Teens and teens of chereens, bits and pieces. Bound to be lots and lots. Rotten, forgotten, it scream. But it was you. For true. Not me. Oh, oh it's a recitative. It is not a lyric. This was. Uh... It was said to be a recitative. Mm -hmm. Last the round two a.m. we had to do this uh, last minute uh, blur for the seminar, which I got the timing completely wrong on. Last uh, uh, night before last, I think. Night before last. But the, <laughs> all of this parts about the line. I mean, Gordon was over there, standing there with the word processor. It's wonderful. And we were trying to write up a blur about a seminar, and Gordon was complaining about things like the dashed line in the middle of the screen. Well, he said to me, "Well, can I was doing things?" And he said, "Can he look at it without it moving while I was changing it?" And I said, yes, I can, in, in a crude way on this thing, and by splitting the screen. And of course, when you split the screen in half, there's a line in the middle which tells you which half of the screen is which. You can tell them apart. Mm -hmm. So his one wasn't moving and mine was moving, which is what I wanted. But then we had this line in the middle of the screen. 
So was the line in his text or my text, or were they different texts, or was, you know, I mean, it's to, you can't tell, and it's part of his lament about how many screens you really want to have, which is dozens and masses and masses of them. Well, a TV studio. I want a TV studio worth of screens connected to my machine, so I can look at all of the different perspectives, and whatever I want and whatever I want, all at the same time, all at once, always. It would be like having a, five books open in front of you, or many screens at the same time, or as blank as you want. I mean, or as blank as you want. As blank of this as you want. It's all right for a, for an opera. But I mean, uh, you can even set the music as a recipe. I mean, uh, we might. by Marco Cardamon. The refrain is, everyone knows this music, it's country western, the refrain is, homeostasis in suburban places, it shows on our faces like jokers and aces. I know it's hard to remember, but we'll be able to follow along. Roger, Matt, A Haven Oasis? Where are we starting? A Haven Oasis. A Haven Oasis, a balance of bases, 
place where the pace is a leisurely pace. It's constant and slow. Homeostasis in suburban places. It shows in our faces like jokers and aces, like cards in a pack. Homeostasis. This is the winning part. Suburban places. <laughs> it shows in our faces. Brought to you by the left brain. And back. All right, now it's upbeat. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the in the the and the the music. We need more time. <laughs> <laughs> We need more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if the truth is told, <laughs> Pangarin Incorporated refused to pay us to perform tonight, but we performed anyway. Now, we feel this is absolutely ridiculous and really wish that they had a sense in the business world about the importance of modern technology and about the importance of performance in modern life. And as Dr. Pask has always insisted... No, he'll never do it. No, Gordon, we can't sit through six pages. <laughs> <laughs> you have to flap it over. Cybernetics is a system science. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We, if, we, if we live to the third act, we'll see you then. It's very good. You should put the headphones on. Please play back. I can play it back.